everyone and welcome. In today's video we are tackling this hall closet, turning it into like a cleaning supply closet, uh, utility closet, and sports equipment storage. And then that also leads to reorganizing some plants and some other bright ideas. But back to the closet. So this is like centrally located in the hallway and I actually really didn't want to clean it because the most like majority of my house was pretty clean I just posted a video of deep cleaning reorganizing the kitchen so I'll link that down below and nothing was too bad but I just know that cleaning out these like hidden spots it's so easy to just close a door of a closet or a room or a drawer or anything but um in your mind that clutter and that disorganization is still there and this was fairly organized at one point and then things just get like shoved in and uh, not working as well as it should now ideally I would have this closet be right here when you first enter um, our house but on the other side of this wall is like the master bathroom so clearly not a closet and also clearly we need to handle this shoe situation <laughs> but right around the corner down here is where this closet actually is and it's the way the house is so we're gonna make it work I also need to make this huge I think it's supposed to be an end table I need to make this work I had put it in here temporarily uh, we were donated it with along with this coffee table and this one as well when we had first moved in I put the big square one right here next to our wood stove and it was working pretty well and I will touch on that later but first let's talk about my outfit this is just real life uh, I needed to do laundry I needed to take a shower and I did both of those things eventually like after this but right now I'm just gonna start cleaning it out my son was at football practice my daughter's like playing Legos in her room there and first things first is getting this huge thing out it was heavy but with the drawer out not as heavy but yeah um my name is Christine I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom and this is our little morning basket I will also link below to the homeschool room clean out organization tour video but Aside from using that room and homeschooling kind of wherever, I plan to do morning time right after breakfast in this like sunroom, dining room, living room area, which surprisingly I am getting plants to survive. We get a lot of these for free and my job is to not kill them and to make them kind of thrive and uh, not doing too bad. Now I have moved this big table thing away because I'm hoping that we can get this wood stove working it works but it it doesn't work like it fills the house with smoke but it gets cold in here especially this room is all these single pane old windows oh, I was just showing you that it matches perfectly with that little ledge um, so I do really like it here and if we do end up getting the stove working the little oven yeah stove um, then I can figure it out when that time comes. I'm tired of waiting for, oh, what if? What if we remodel the kitchen? What if we redo this? No, just make my house look good, function, all of that for how it is right now and for the stage of life that we are in right now. So I am actually turning my morning basket, which has also been a morning cart and all kinds of things, now into a morning drawer. This is like a Thomasville pretty heavy duty quality sturdy drawer and so I knew it could handle some books and then I put the big heavy one down below and most of our morning supplies up here in this big drawer I do have these baskets which I love that I can use somewhere else in the house and maybe get some new plants to go here but I've got our big sing a song of seasons daily poetry book my Bible, my sons. I want to put like these photo books uh, that I'm eventually going to have printed down below, but we've got our morning time Bible curriculum right there that we can do 
um, the dining room table is right there next to this. So it's very convenient and kind of hidden in a way. I then spent way too long making the plants look, in my opinion, nicer. And finally, oh no, we're not getting back to the table, to the closet yet. I want to get a big plant to go up here. And I put the little guy there and then I moved some others like this cute teapot and teacup that my friend put some succulents in. I do need to replant a lot of, repot a lot of plants and propagate a lot as well. Sounds like a tongue twister, my goodness. Um, but yeah, baskets up there for now. And now back to this mess that I'm like, okay, I need to handle. I brought in an extension cord and the lamp from the other side of the couch, just so we could have some lighting in here. Already feels so much better without that table in the closet, um, making more room. And so now I'm just going to vacuum it all out, continue clearing it, and then we can get to some organizing. just putting like these sleeping bags and extra blankets in the kids closet which does need some more reorganization and I had thrifted this Merry Christmas pillow a couple months ago all of our Christmas supplies uh, decorations are up in like the garage loft area so they're not coming down anytime soon so I think that's just in my closet for now but yeah making some progress just putting everything on the couch and then we're gonna start sorting through it. If you guys saw my kitchen declutter reorganization video, you can tell that I have, you saw that I have like no drawer storage. So we don't have a junk drawer. So this closet has been kind of acting like that with like the old batteries and just, oh, I don't know where to put something. Let's shove it up here. Whereas I've been decluttering and reorganizing other rooms like the kids room, homeschool room, things have just got put here. So what was some decent organization. You just have to maintain it and go back through and clean things. And now without the um, giant desk, no giant table drawer thing in here, I could actually use these hooks. I'd love to put the vacuum there, but this closet doesn't have an outlet. So like you see, it's in the homeschool uh, room closet, which does have an outlet. So less than ideal, but it's in there, it's charging. And I do like to put this small, um, what is it called? You guys, my brain is like fried right now. I've had a long day. <laughs> Laundry basket in here where I can put the towels. So I don't like mixing like wet kitchen towels and all of that uh, in with our regular laundry. So in the closet, it's a nice dedicated spot for it. And once it gets full, then it has to get washed. And now I saw this idea from Amanda from... This crazy life, I think, is her channel. I love it, her channel. But she has boys who play, fo play football as well, and she turned her like hall coat closet into a sports, which she called football closet. And I was watching this the other day, and that is what gave me the inspiration to do my closet like this. And when I did the kids' room, I realized I had two of these behind the door shoe organizers, and. She just had hers hung up like at the back of the closet. Oh, my daughter was like, what was that noise? And I'm like, oh, it's just me being super loud with this hammer. Um, and so, yeah, it's genius in my opinion. Putting the behind the door shoe organizer up here in the closet for all of the sports organizations, like anything to do with sports. So we can put our cleats, shin guards. I got this like odor eliminator spray that's all natural that she actually recommended as well. And it, I think it's working pretty well so far. 
Um, and like sunscreen, hand warmers, tissues, anything that you would need for sports or you're like, oh, I need to quickly throw that in the sports bag, put it in these organizers and it is working so well. It's only been a couple days, but my son was very happy to have his own little dedicated spot. I don't think I'm going to put my daughter's belly items in here that's what she's doing for now and then she might start gymnastics and then eventually like cheerleading but she might have her own uh, not so smelly space (laughs) and I got this laundry basket from Costco years ago and now I'm just using it as like storage for my son's things and then that is the little light these are like puck lights and I use some double-sided tape to attach it to just give some light and I did that when we moved in I just never replaced the batteries so I did that and already we are looking so much better you can see how the little pockets already have things in them and then after trying a million different configurations I finally got this one I like the best I'm just using these uh, like storage totes also from Costco for my son's like practice gear and then he has this blocking pad that fits exactly perfectly inside the tote bin um magic and then the bin can go on top the basket and that's where my son can put his helmet and pads and everything in there uh but he was about to come home from football practice and i needed to clean all of this up and then get dinner and everything going so it turned into kind of just speed organizing and sorting and getting everything back into the closet I did end up gathering all of my essential oils from all around the house and putting them on this little bamboo um, it's supposed to be a spice rack but when I redid the kitchen I stopped using this but I didn't want to donate it or get rid of it yet so then I put some essential oils in our diffuser just to make the house you know a little cozy and then I noticed how beautiful the sunset was so we had to go outside for a little bit and just enjoy so amazing I should have some nice music playing here instead of just me talking but you gotta go outside and just enjoy creation like this it's beautiful and then here's a really lovely segue into the next day we spent a couple hours at the beach and it was beautiful isn't that picturesque like ah and then that's not such a good segue but we came back from the beach We had sort of dealt with the shoe situation, but to be honest, I still need to go through, take everything out off of the shoe rack and clean it, vacuum it, sort everything, but uh, that will come. But I'm just going to start by washing some of these towels because after the beach, it was just time for those. I ended up doing like two loads, one of the um, big beach towels and then one like kitchen towels. I do love this new washer that we got. I only wish that you could add the soap first and like mix it with the water. So starting laundry is like one thing, but the last thing I wanted to do was do this after coming home from the beach. But I knew that it would be best to just quickly knock it out. And speaking of knocking it out, knocking noises that is my kids playing outside this room outside and uh, they have so much energy but what I'm going to do here is just get all of this that was still in the closet and start sorting it into piles what I want to keep in the closet what should go into the garage which is a future project and then what's going to go like into the homeschool room um, or somewhere else
to wrap this up, I'm just putting everything back into the closet, going through all the essential oils, keeping just getting rid of all the empty ones. I've got kind of an emergency kit, batteries, I need to buy more, some flashlights, candles, things like that, some basic cleaning supplies. Um, everything's on this little metal shelf that I got at Ikea for really cheap. And it's getting the job done. Got some basic tools, um, you know, just kind of the odds and ends. I've got this power scrubber thing and steam mop pads. I need to use that power scrubber in the shower. That's coming soon. And this clear bin was taking up too much space. So I've got my son's karate gear. He's on a break from karate so he can do football, but put that in his closet, use the clear bin for some bulk storage to go in the garage, which is again, a future project. But um, then these had been in the garage and I moved them in here enough room for a full like case of toilet paper tissues and paper towels from Costco up top and I'm thinking that this is looking so much better and obviously it's going to have like the laundry basket and all of my son's gear in there as well but so much more functional usually on that little hook he can hang up his pants like his practice pants but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I hope you were encouraged to go and clean out the closet um, or something. And I wish you a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye. I said I was going to play with this with some music. So let me show you <laughs> one more time.